In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the epsilon delta definition of a limit, and then we're going to use that to work out one question. All right, so first of all, I would like to take a look at what that epsilon delta definition of a limit says. It states that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to L. That This symbol means that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero such that if the absolute value of x minus a is in between zero and delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus the limit is less than epsilon. Okay, and this uh, definition will actually come in to play when you answer some questions. Maybe you're asked to find your delta or to find a delta x. All right, but before we actually work through an example, I would like to kind of take a look at that um, definition from more of a pictorial standpoint here. Okay, so what I have here is I have a function f of x. Okay, and let's say I'm um, taking the limit as x approaches a, and my a was right here on the x-axis. All right, well, that limit value then would be right there. So that's kind of depicted in green right there. Okay, all of your delta values reside along the x-axis and are on both sides of a. All right, your epsilon values are, reside on your y-axis and are on both sides of your limit there. Okay, so basically what this um, definition um, assures us is that if x is within this interval, okay, if x falls within this interval, then we're guaranteed to have f of x within this interval up here. Okay, so the connection between your delta and your epsilon values pertaining to that. Okay, so just um, pictorially, you may be seeing it like that, looking at it like that may give you a different perspective on that um, somewhat complicated definition. All right, now we'll do just one example of how you might use that to help you find a delta value. All right, let's say that we are given the limit as x approaches 2 of, say, 3x plus 1. Okay, it's going to ask us to find delta such that the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than one fourth. Okay, so this would be my limit value, so we're going to have to calculate that right there. And this value here, this setup here, if you remember from the definition, this value would be my epsilon value here. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and calculate the value of that limit. All right, if I plug 2 in, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 more. That's going to give me a value of 7. So right there, my limit value is going to be 7. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my function. I'm going to subtract the value of my limit. Absolute value bars is less than 1 fourth. So absolute value of 3x plus 1 minus 7. Absolute value is less than my epsilon value of one-fourth. Now I'm going to calculate a little um, arithmetic in here. I'm going to do some subtraction there. So I've got the absolute value of 3x minus 6 is less than one-fourth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and factor this. All right, and when I factor this, I'm going to pull out a 3. All right, now because the uh, 3 is positive, all right, um, when I pull it out, I don't necessarily have to have absolute value bars around it. You'll see it written both ways. So if I factor out a 3, then I would have an x minus 2 is less than 1 fourth. Okay, and then like I said, sometimes you'll see it just pulled out. It's a positive 3, so we know it's going to be positive. Some uh, books or work or notation will show you absolute values around that. If you pull out negative, then you would need those absolute value bars around that to make that positive. But since it was a 3, we're good there. Okay, now um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to solve this. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3, positive 3. So then I'm going to have the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than a 1 12th. Okay, now recalling our um, formal definition there of that, um, the epsilon, de epsilon delta definition of a limit, all right, um, the left-hand part of that said that if the absolute value of x minus a 
all right, fell in between zero and delta, then this was true. The absolute value of the function minus the limit is less than one fourth. Okay, well, checking this, if I have done this correctly and I have factored and solved this correctly, then this should be my value of A. My value of A is what my limit is approaching there, okay? So X minus two, all right, and then I'm X is approaching two right there. So I can conclude then that that is my delta value that I need to find. So delta is equal to 1 12th in this scenario. Okay, so that's just uh, one example, one type of problem of how you could use that epsilon delta definition of a limit to find delta when you are given a certain epsilon. Um, thanks for watching, and if you found the definition um, helpful, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.